Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. We are doing episode two of my Would I Repurchase This Palette series. You all seem to really enjoy this when I did it on my channel here the first time, so I've picked out a few more palettes to chat about again. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And by the way, I am wearing clothes. It doesn't seem like I am. It's underneath all of this hair, but I am. I am wearing clothes. I just realized, I was like, maybe I should have zoomed out further so that more was showing, but this is fine. I just thought it might be helpful to be a little closer so that we can see inside these palettes as we go through them. Now, if you're not familiar with this series, I'm sure that everybody is by now. If you enjoy watching beauty content here on YouTube, you've probably seen a couple of these, but I actually first saw these through Annette's Makeup Corner. I know that she isn't necessarily the first one to have started this series, and I know that Annette said that it was Dolly Mama Beauty that either inspired her to do this or they did one of these as a collab. I honestly can't remember, but I will make sure to have both of their channels linked down below so that you can check them out. Now, I'm going to be pretty brutal in this. I think that this little series has really been helping me think through the palettes that I want to keep. I am coming up on doing my eyeshadow declutter, but in all honesty, it's really been good for me to just grab out a mini chunk of palettes and like go through them, give my thoughts on them, and then like as a small set, be like, yeah, I'd keep this, no, I wouldn't, and not be like overwhelmed with the whole thing. So I might just keep doing this series for a while and let that help me through. I'm not sure, we will see. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dive in. So this is, I still can't find the name, but the big one was the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. It was like their basic naked layout. This is like a little mini of that. I think it, I don't know if it had just a smaller, set of the same shades in the palette or if these were different shades. Honestly, I don't remember. I bought this, I honestly totally bought this kind of on a whim. I think I ended up getting it with Ulta points, but I really wanted a few of the things that were in the Honey Pot set. So the set came with this palette. It came with the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion in the Honey one. Yeah, I, I'm sure I still have it. No, I actually don't. I think I decluttered it, but it was the Primer Potion um, and it was supposed to be like this kind of like gold, like honey colored eyeshadow primer. I was like, oh, that'll be really nice. Then there was a liner, which I still have. And then the um, honey scented 24 seven spray, the all nighter spray. <sighs> okay, so let's, <laughs> let me just say, I totally regret that whole purchase because the things that I thought I would love from that purchase, I didn't so much. The um, the primer potion was like glittery. It had glitter in it, not just shimmer. I thought it was just going to be kind of shimmery, but it was mostly glittery. So it wasn't enough to wear on its own, but it totally added glitter to whatever you put over the top of it, but not like in a cute way. I don't know how to explain it. The liner is nice. I do like the color of the liner, but whatever. And then the spray did not really smell like honey to me. It, it didn't. It didn't smell bad, but it didn't smell like honey. So anyway, let's talk about these shadows. Here I am doing an eyeshadow video and talking to you about everything but the eyeshadow, but that's the whole reason. That's the whole reason why I got it. This was just sort of like a little bonus. I, for a very long time, have been disillusioned by Urban Decay eyeshadows. I really just don't understand the hype. I think that not so much anymore because I don't think that most people love them anymore, but even when they were like in their heyday and I tried them, I was like, okay, I mean, this is not bad, but it's not great. So really in here, there is there is nothing that I don't have elsewhere in my collection. I can tell you right now, I'm probably gonna be decluttering this one. Shocker, right? But there is nothing in here. The only thing that is even like semi like, oh, is this top shade here glazed. And it's sort of like a little like duochrome moment. Honestly, it's kind of like a taupe with a green and gold shift to it. So are you even going to be able to see that? Probably not. Like that's, that's how unspecial <laughs> this is. Like I have this, I'm sure I have something like this, but with more kick in the pants in my single shadow collection. So this one I would not get again. Um, I think I probably would have even returned it once I tried a couple of the products and I was so disappointed, like so, so disappointed. I probably would have returned it, but I used points so I couldn't really return it. So I honestly, I just can't see myself buying another Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, like ever, like ever. I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below, are you, do you still use Urban Decay? Are, is it something that you'd purchase? Like, it's just, it just is 
uninteresting to me. This is the last one that I got and it, mm, meh. So no, no for me, no for me, pretty much probably forever. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some Juvia's Place. So this is the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. This may have been my first Juvia's Place palette. Maybe not. I could be lying on that. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that because I'm probably lying. So I got these shortly after Juvia's really before Juvia's Place like really hit the ground running and like everybody was talking about them. I got them when it was just starting to be like a whisper here on the YouTube sphere. So I mean the thing about these shades is they are so so nice so the shimmers in here um in my last what i repurchased video i talked about i think it was the desert lights palette i was gonna say the jungle lights but it was the desert light palettes from flower beauty so they have that really like creamy emollient slightly thicker feel i mean look at that oh they're so good the mattes actually are really nice too but i i think that the shimmers is what really shines um here's the thing though these pans are so big they are so big and this palette is like just tall enough that I don't think it fits in my, maybe it does, maybe it was just shoved in the back, but I think I had it laying down. I don't think that this fits in my drawer. It needs to be just a little bit smaller. And so honestly, if it's in the back of the drawer laying down, I just kind of forget about it. So I like it. Would I repurchase it? I hate to say it, but probably not. And not because it's not good quality, but I mean, for one thing, again, the pans are so big. I wish that the pans were a little bit smaller and maybe there were more shades. I feel like Juvia's Place has sort of gone that way more or there are more options with smaller pans. The other thing is like, while I love shimmers, like I would prefer a palette, if it's going to be more heavy one way or the other, I would prefer it to be shimmer heavy. But this one, it has four mattes in it. And you know, you have this orange, you have a like, kind of khaki brown, you have a deep brown, and then you have this plum shade. I I almost feel like it's the plum that's sort of like missing the mark here for me, but I could see pairing it with the blue. You could get a really nice contrast with some of these coppery shades, so maybe it's not the plum. <laughs> it's just, I wish that there were a couple more mattes in a lighter shade, just I don't know, just from our blurring. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. As I'm sitting here talking, I'm struggling because like it's so nice and the quality is so good, but I just don't reach for it. That's that's the thing at the end of the day. I've had this palette for a long time. This is obviously, you know, an older palette from them. I just don't think I'd do it again. I mean, there are pretty shades, but two of the shimmers in here are fairly like, I mean, they're good but they're just very, very basic. Uh, Zuri and Sheba are just kind of like your basic neutral shades. I don't know. I, I don't think I'd get this one again. The quality is really good. The, the pans are just too big for me. I don't see myself being a person who buys a lot of large pan palettes anymore. And I wish it, I wish it sat up like this. I do want to get another little extension to my vanity over to the side here where I can maybe have slots where I can put in taller palettes so that I see them more because if they're in my drawer laying down, I just don't use them. So I don't think I'd repurchase this one again, but not because Juvia's Place isn't nice. Oh, it just hurts my heart to say that. Okay, here is another palette that doesn't fit upright in my collection, but it is one that I would repurchase again. I'm just I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. This is the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. This was a collab with Kathleen Lights. So I like these little, like slightly smaller pans of eyeshadow. I know that some people don't. I know that some people want like your standard, what is it, 26 millimeter pans. I just, I like this because I get a lot and you know, that to me makes me happy. I just, I, <laughs> I like a lot. This is like a Goldilocks situation, but, I almost wish that every palette, like if this one had one less row, it could maybe be like this tall and maybe it would sit in my vanity. But this one again has to be laid down. I know that I've talked about this before and um, I, I really like this palette. It's been in a few of my like top rankings videos, but I, I just love this one. It just has everything you could want almost. I mean, there's no like 
crazy whoa shifty shades i mean this is a color pop palette after all let's be honest but it is one of the more creative color layouts from ColourPop. I think Kathleen did a really great job with this. There are two pressed glitters in here, which I know pisses some people off. I don't mind. I've actually used both of them and I've had a lot of fun with them. Uh, but yeah, I love this palette. I have, this is probably, this is probably the last ColourPop purchase that made me really happy. I would say so. I, I have the Mulan palette too. I'll probably be pulling that one in and I'll give you my thoughts, but that one was pretty good. But after that, it was just like, <laughs> everything just went downhill and there really hasn't been a lot that's interested me. So I do love this one. I would definitely repurchase again. You can't get this anymore. I wish that they'd bring this back in like a limited edition launch. That would be super fun. Did you get this one? Do you have this one? Do you wish that they'd bring it back? Let me know. All right, let's pull in a little indie magic here. We have the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette. Uh, this was from last summer, I do believe. And this palette is just so pretty. I wanted to bring this one in because I know that they did recently launch the uh, Paradise Islands palette. I see that they have a new one coming in June though. I'm very excited. I'm very excited, but uh, just given the vibe, I have a feeling that that's going to be another like bright, maybe not neon, but like brighter tones. I've seen some sneak peeks on the Instagram, but uh, I have a feeling it's going to be bright. So the Paradise Islands palette is more of like a pastel meets brights, whereas this one is definitely still colorful, but more in that like nature inspired colorful way. Like you have these beautiful, like rusty desert red tones. You have some beautiful greens. You of course have some great neutrals. You have a pop of blue, a pop of purple. Like this is just such a well-balanced palette. I really enjoy this one. I think for me, when you buy a Nomad palette, you have to know that the shimmers are going, there is something special about the shimmers. There's just something about this. So I think what is unique about these shimmers is also what some people won't like. And I feel like, oh, you're probably not even gonna be able to see this here, but I feel like the Nomad shimmers have a texture to them and I don't mean like a flaky texture and not even like a texture when you swatch them but they all have fine fine micro sparkle in them like not as small as like the micro sparkle in Divina but not as big as a glitter if that makes any sense so it's like somewhere in the middle so like this shade which is the one that I just swatched delicate arch so this one is like a beautiful like coppery shade but inside of it I can see this like fleck of gold and silver glitter almost and then like within the uh Acadia lighthouse again you've got this like soft kind of tealy blue base and then again you have like very similar it's like teal and like maybe even like a little bit of green micro glitter in here i keep i don't want to use the word i don't want to use the g word i sparkle let's just call it sparkle so for some people they're going to like that some people won't like that um i i love this palette i would definitely purchase this again if you are someone who likes color but maybe not like the bright, bright tones and you missed out on this one and you're wanting a good summer palette, this is a really great one. I would definitely get that one again. Okay, here's a palette that when I pulled it out, I literally had to be like, have I used this palette? <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not quite sure, but looking at it, I either went crazy and swatching it or I did use it. And this is the Paprika palette from Glam Shop. Okay, this is a stunning palette. It's beautiful. It is very fiery. It's very red. I'm pretty sure. I kind of remember doing one or two looks with this. The thing is, is I I was kind of holding out. I want to do a how to wear red eyeshadow, like tips on wearing red eyeshadow video, or at least I was considering do it. Please let me know if you'd be curious about that or you'd be interested in it. I intended to do it around like Valentine's Day or something like that, and then it just it just didn't happen. So if you would like to see that, please let me know. Um, that's when I really wanted to like let this palette shine. And then I just never did it. But I just haven't pulled for this one in a long time. I should probably pull this out this summer and like do some spicy looks with it. But that being said, like I haven't pulled this one out that much. So it's like, would I repurchase this again? I mean, it has some beautiful shades here. Like, let's pull out a couple of these. And I know some people, so the Glam Shop mattes, again, are like, they're a little bit more thin and powdery, but for me, I think that they build up on the eye really nicely. So, I mean, 
Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. I'm going to hold it back here. I, ugh, they're so pretty. So, mm, oh, I mean, you can't even see. There is a bit of a shift in that center shade. Glam Shop shades are just so special. <sighs> okay, so would I buy this palette again? Like, ugh, I'm just not sure what to say. I'm really not. Like, part of me is like, you should say no, and then you should just say, I wish I could have just gotten a couple of these as singles, because that's the truth. But I think I did get this on sale, and it is kind of nice to have one palette to be able to pull out rather than singles, because I'm, I mean, I use my singles all the time, but it's just, but it's just easier to like pull out one palette, even if I have to pull a second palette out for like some neutrals to round this off or something. <sighs> I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I would purchase it again. I would want to get it on sale though. I don't really have a lot of red palettes in my collection. Like I have some palettes that have some reds in them. I don't really have many red shades as far as singles go. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. I've talked myself back into yes. Honestly, when I pulled this in to talk about it, it was a no. And I've already talked myself back into saying it's a yes. Our final palette that we're going to be talking about today is from Odin's Eye, and this is the Hummingbird palette. This is from the Legendary Diversa collection. This was the collab with Tina the Fancy Face, and <sighs> all right, this is such a stunning set of shades. It is such a stunning set of shades. The thing for me is every time I pull this out again, I feel like I'm sort of like a broken record here, but this is just my way of doing eyeshadow. I wish that this, you know, this is a 12 pan palette. I wish that it was like a 15 pan palette and you had a couple more shades on the lighter side because you have, let's see, five mattes in here, which is great. You have five mattes in here. They're beautiful tones, but the lightest one is this like dusty blue shade. That one just doesn't trip my trigger all that much. I have used it and it actually worked out really nicely in the looks that I've done. The other one is this hibiscus shade, which is really, really pretty, but you have two shades. One is like neon and one is pastel. And then the three mattes are like kind of grungy, like they're more murky tones. So it's like, I don't want to blend out a murky tone with a pastel or a neon shade. I don't. The only one that I would like blend out is this lagoon shade. So I feel like it's missing a little something. That being said, I would totally repurchase it. These shadows are so, so beautiful. I mean, this, ugh, this fancy shade is so beautiful. Let me tell you, Odin's Eye multi-chromes are very, very pretty. I was a little bit bummed when I saw that the new collection doesn't have any like multi-chromes in it. Um, but I also understand it's like a bigger palette, whatever. That's for another time. I have that palette coming on the way, so I'm sure I'll be reviewing that one soon, but these these are just so pretty. I just wish it had a couple more shades. So I would totally repurchase it, especially since I got it in the Black Friday sale where they were doing like 30, 40% off. I don't even remember what it was, but I love this palette. I just wish it had a little bit more. I feel like you need maybe a neutral and then maybe a lighter, slightly grungy shade just to be able to have more more blending options. That's just me. I that's just my that's just my preferences and this isn't my palette. This was Tina's palette. And I know that she loves doing like super bright looks. I also know that she doesn't tend to do and I don't mean she doesn't tend to blend. I don't mean like her eyeshadow looks are like choppy or like blocky, but she I don't think tends to use like as many blending shades when she does her eye looks and that's great. So this is perfect for her. I just always have to pull in something else, which is totally fine. I can do that. Okay, <laughs> these videos are fun to do and also a little bit stressful. I don't know why that is. It's not like I'm being forced to like hand these over if I say no, right? And I know that I said in my first video that I did in this series, like me saying I wouldn't repurchase it doesn't mean I'm decluttering it. It just means like given what I know now or even what I have now, would I repurchase it, right? So what did we have here? Did we have... We had two no's. We had two no's, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. And both of the no's were from a little while ago. So that's that's really acceptable. Um, do I think I'm gonna declutter those no's? 
most likely yes. I want to pull out the Juvia's Place palette and use it this week. I have a couple things set to the side to use this week. I'm also doing my deck of panning. That's the thing because then eventually I've got so much out that I feel stressed in trying to use it but I think I'm going to pull this one out and try to use it this week. So maybe that'll give me a little bit more insight. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have any of these palettes, what you would do if you would repurchase, if you would not, if you declutter these a while ago. I would love to know. Uh, let me know if you want me to keep going with this series. I have been enjoying it. Uh, I think it's really, like I said, it's a good like lead up to my declutter because it's making me think about everything in small little increments. And I think that that's, you know, healthy and less stressful, even though I feel like this was a little stressful today. Geez, Kelly, it's just, it's just an eyeshadow video on YouTube. Don't take it so seriously. I'm a Virgo. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. It really does help me out here on my channel. I appreciate that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me, and I will see you really soon.